Hello internet friends! Have you ever been shopping for an expensive shoe online and you just cannot find any useful information? Well, I was recently in that same boat. I was trying to buy these really expensive sandals and I couldn't even find a photo of a foot wearing the shoe. So, if you're in the market for a pair of rag and bone shame flat sandals, then I got gotcha. you. The trend of chunky soles is still going strong this year, which I'm super happy about because I'm really short and this kind of gives me a little bit of a boost. I've been rocking these, this pair of pink iridescent Doc Martin sandals for about three years and I've been meaning to upgrade to something a little bit, like a little bit more neutral and uh, a little bit fancier so that I can kind of wear it to nicer occasions. Um, I found these and I thought they were really cool. I found them at a store first, but then I ended up ordering them online. Uh, they have these four major style elements. One is the chunky sole, of course. It almost looks like a, like a car tire. And we've seen this kind of a sole on the Prada sandals this year and a lot of other designer sandals and kind of the knockoffs that are mimicking this, this sort of a car tire looking chunky sole. The other three elements that these sandals have are the puffy straps. So all around the sandal, the straps are really puffy and they're filled with sort of like a foam or maybe a polyfill. And we've seen this a lot on sandals last year, but a lot of the sandals this year are also still kind of carrying on with this trend. Uh, the third element are these ruched straps. So across your foot, there's one ruched strap. This is pretty popular in sandals this year in particular. A lot of the designer sandals are incorporating this. And I think it looks kind of cool and maybe makes the sandal look a little bit fancier. And the fourth design element about these sandals in particular that I like is this clip. It, like, it looks kind of silly, like, I, I don't know, it makes, it makes the shoe look kind of grungy, which, which I like. So it has these sort of cross strap, almost fancy looking straps, but then it also has this grungy looking clip, which, which I think is really cool. So the clip here, this part is metal. This part right here is made of metal and it says rag and bone on it. If my camera will focus, will it? I don't know. Well, it says rag and bone on it. And this part is plastic, of course, but um, overall it makes the clipping, the closing mechanism really nice on these shoes. Uh, here, let's do it like that. The quality of these sandals is really awesome. So the whole of uh, the top of the sandal is made of leather. You can see on the bottom uh, what the tag says. So everything on the top is made of leather, except for the probably the polyester filling inside of the puffs. All, all along the edge of the sandal, they're stitching which I really like. I really like how that looks on Doc Martens and it kind of makes the shoe look like it's a really good quality item. Uh, and again, this clip is made of metal. Initially, I thought it was made of plastic, which kind of made me a little skeptical, but it's actually made of metal so that, that it makes it a little bit more encouraging. So originally these sandals were $450 and I definitely don't make enough money to buy a pair of sandals for that much. Uh, so I waited until they went on sale. I found them at Nordstrom Rack for $220 and that's when I like really noticed them and wanted to get them. But I was still like not really willing to pull the trigger on my wallet for that much money for a sandal. But then I thought like it would be nice. I've never owned like nice designer shoes or nice designer anything for that matter uh so i figured it'd be nice to have a pair of sandals that i could wear kind of pretty much for the rest of my life something that was made of good quality materials something that was durable and was going to last and i think this style definitely lends itself to lasting uh and i kind of i kept looking and eventually they went on sale at Nordstrom rack for 164 dollars 99 so you can see them here you can see the clearance price and that's when i finally decided to buy them and I originally bought them in size 35. I will show you my foot in a bit. My foot is pretty much nine inches long, exactly. I bought them in size 35 and they were a little bit too small. So this is supposed to be kind of like a chunky, large, bulky sandal. And I felt like my foot was a little bit too big on this and it made the sandal look a little bit too small. So I ordered another pair in size 36. So these are European sizes. Um, so I got size 36, which corresponds to a size six in women's, in American sizes. Uh, they unfortunately did not have any half sizes in between size US 5 and size US 6, so 35 and 36 in European sizes. So I ordered a size 36 and I'm gonna unbox it right now. So let's see how that fits on my foot. And when I ordered them from Nordstrom Rack, again, they came from a clearance rack. So they just arrived in a bag. They literally just arrived like this. But the size 36 that I got also from Nordstrom Rack 
but it arrived in a box. So let's go ahead and unbox them, see what it's like to own a pair of designer shoes, which I've never owned, so this is super exciting. Here I'm showing the comparison of the two different sizes. On the left we have the European 35 US 5 and on the right we have the European 36 US 6 size and for comparison I'm going to stick my foot in here. So you can see that my foot is exactly 9 inches long which corresponds to about a 5.5 in US sizes. And unfortunately there were no half sizes for these sandals so let me show you how my foot looks in each of these two sizes. I'm going to start with size 5. So it fits okay, but I don't know, like I just feel like it, my foot makes the sandal look kind of small. Like it fits within the parameters of the sandal, but then the toes kind of stick out and it looks like I'm wearing like a little girl sandal. So I'm not super stoked about how size 5 fits me, so let me go ahead and try size 6. Looks like size 6 was a lot easier to clasp, a lot easier to, to close once I put the sandal on. And overall, I think it fits a lot better. Oh, let me adjust this a little bit. Yeah, you see how in this shoe, in size 6, I think my foot looks a lot better. It looks like I'm wearing the correct adult sandals, not some child sandal. And I like the look a lot better. I like how my heel fits correctly in there, but my toes don't stick out. Like there's a little bit of room in the front. I like the look of this one a lot better. So maybe let me put the other one on and let me walk around a bit. just do a quick comparison to show how they fit versus the Doc Martens. So I'm going to put on uh, one of my Doc Martens and this is a size US women's 6. I'm going to put this one on. Just to show you how the same foot as me so they know what the difference is. Okay. Here we go. So I feel like I have this like similar kind of height boost from both of these. Um, the rag and bone sandal definitely feels a little bit like tighter, but not in a bad way. It feels like it's kind of hugging my foot more. It feels like it's like just taking care of my foot a little bit better. And the sole is definitely much heavier because it's actually rubber, whereas the Doc Martens have this kind of a foamy sole. So I, yeah, I, th I think my foot feels better in these. 
than these. Like it just, yeah, this, this feels like it's really like made for my foot. Whereas this feels a little bit loose. Yeah, so the Doc Martens are lighter, but they're made of foam and you see that the foam is kind of wearing out. Like I'm still gonna be rocking the, the Doc Martens for a while, but um, these are gonna be kind of my, my fancy sandals. Alright, now I just want to wrap it up with the pros and cons of these sandals, these rag and bone shame flat sandals. First of all, let's start with the construction. The quality of the shoe is really top notch. Like you could just feel that it's made of really good quality materials and it's constructed in a way that it's not going to fall apart. Like when I was a kid, I, I used to wear like, you know, cheap footwear and then like the, the sandal strap would like break after a year. Like these will last you probably literally for the rest of your life. So that's definitely a pro. Um, the comfort is, oh man, the comfort is so good with these. Like the, the cushioned sole is great. Like my foot feels so comfortable in it. These puffy straps, at first I didn't think it would matter. I thought it was just more like a style element, but actually they sh they're they so comfortable. They're like little pillows surrounding your foot. They're so comfortable. I, I love these cushion straps. I did not, like that was kind of unexpected for me. I didn't think they were gonna make that much of a difference in terms of comfort, but they look cool and they're comfortable. And of course, like the, just the shape of the sole, like the shape of the footbed is really good. Like the, um, the arch support is, perfect on these shoes and they fit me nicely so if you are a nine inch foot then size 36 is your size um pros other pros is that they're very stylish they're beautiful like uh, this is a very kind of classic look outside so like that's another reason why i'm probably gonna wear these sandals for the rest of my life like i will hold on to these and i will not resell them like these are my sandals forever um the other pro is this buckle i mean i don't know like i i think it's a pro I, the correct when i tried this on in the correct size it was actually really easy to buckle it up so i think that's a pro the only con that i have about these sandals is they kind of smack like you know i bought sandals why are they smacking like flip-flops i don't know like so maybe the engineering was a little off and i think like had like had this strap just been placed back here a little bit more maybe they wouldn't smack as much or maybe if there was one more one more strap back here holding down this uh this kind of wide strap maybe they wouldn't smack but they like they kind of they kind of feel flip floppy when you're walking in them uh but other than that like that's my only con like just maybe yeah the engineering could have used a little bit of a a little bit more uh support to prevent the flippy floppiness uh but i mean the shoe is so comfortable and it looks so good that like i i don't know that that one is not a deal breaker for me um some people don't like to be loud when they're walking. I mean, I don't know. I think for a shoe this good, it, it might be worth it. All right, that's all that I got to say about these sandals. Uh, I hope you found this video to be helpful. I wish I had washed them like that before buying them and the size was a bit too small. But anyway, I got them now. And if you do end up getting them yourself, uh, let me know how they feel for you. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.